Just over there is Fishgate, Europe's premier fish market in Hull. We're going to go inside and speak to one man. He represents four generations of unbroken service on the fish docks. His name is Ray Cutsforth, and he's worked there for 70 years, and unbelievably only taken 17 weeks holiday in that time. He's been there since the age of 11, starting in 1941. Let's go and see what gets Ray out of bed in the morning. Now, we've um, come down here today. You've worked here for 23, 24 years. Mm. But there's someone here that's done nearly three times that amount of service on the fish docks, Ray Cutsforth. I think he's been down here for 70 years. Uh, just tell us a bit about what you know about Ray. Well, Ray, you know, Ray Cutsforth, 70 years, larger than life character. He's one of the few characters that are left, you know, and I think it's testament for him to, you know, to to be down here for, for all that time, 70 years. I don't think I'll be doing 70 years, I'll be honest with you, with you. I think he'll probably outstay us all. He might be down here on his own at the end of the day. <laughs> if you could describe Ray in a few words, what sort of um, things would you say about him? <laughs> Do you really want me to say yeah. <laughs> The clean ones, yeah, possibly. Or not, I don't, I don't <laughs> no. mind. No, he's a, he's, a, he's, a very, he's, a very, he's a good businessman, he's a good, um, he's a good hull, yeah. He's been in the business a lot of years and, and he's a trustworthy mm. guy. You know, you know, and, and, I'd say that's why you know I use him, and, and a lot of the other fish merchants mm. um, use his uh, transport, his mm. uh, his business to get their fish off the market. Well, your dad, the the evergreen, <laughs> yes. Ray cuts. Yes, he's been down here for seventy years. Yes, I mean eighty-one on Friday. Now that's April Fool's Day, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. And if you ask for this, say I've been a full on my life. <laughs> Yes. When you first started to hear then, Ray... Um, I was on the other dock, you were all on the other dock. If OK. Was, yeah. But the point is, you've, you've been down here on Hull Docks yeah. for 70 years. Oh, yes, that's right. So did you start in about 1940, 41 then? I just can't remember, but I, 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 was, <laughs> I was at it all the time. Do you know? my, yeah. my grandfather, he was a slave driver. You know, I had joking, he used to call him Wilberforce. And he said to me, son, I had another three brothers, he said, son, stop with me and you'll never look back. And that's what I've done. But, um, I mean, we've seen a lot of changes. I mean, you know, we're on the old fish market originally, the, the yeah. St Andrews Dock, and, um, and then this place was built approximately 10 years ago. So, you know, the, the, the environment, has, you know, the, the, the fishing industry, as from a from a um, envi environment point of view, is, um, is in, improved very much so. Mm. The lack of fish, of course, to, to some extent, but, um, you know, the, 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 the fish market now is, as, I would think, is as good as anywhere in, the, in Europe. So you've, you've been down here all that time. What gets you out of bed in the morning then, Ray? Well, it's just I don't have an alarm clock or anything. I just, <laughs> I just wake up natural. I've been awake all night when I knew this was coming on. If you were to describe your dad, maybe in like a few words, what would be some of his outstanding sort of features? Hard working. Just wants everything done perfect at 100 mile an hour. And I can say this for the camera that is He's been trying to beat time for I don't know how long. <laughs> but everything is trying to beat time. And he's still trying, should I say. <laughs> you must love it down here, then. I, I, I do. And uh, what, what, it, what it's done, it's hurt me a lot of money. You know, I mean, I've worked hard. And just tell us what it is you do down here. All I do, I've got a barrow. Where, yep. And then what we do, we, we go under these, these here with six, eight boxes. Then I run it to the back, to the lorry, and we'll put it on the lorry, then I take it, deliver it to the customers. And I've just been this morning, delivered 100 boxes, with uh, eight stone in a box. So what was it like? What are your, your earliest memories from, from, from working down here at the age of 11 then? What, yeah. what was going on around you at oh, that well, time? Oh, well, it was on the other dock, it was hell for leather. Where they're getting maybe 2,000 boxes here, down the market, that off our market, you was getting on a Monday morning, 20,000 right, boxes. Okay. And you didn't, if you were busy, you didn't stop for lunch or anything. Yeah. You kept going. When the war was on, we used to be working maybe 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at a night, right? Then the buzzers used to blow, you know. Well, then, like the air raids? Yeah, the yeah. air raids. So what we had to do, if we was working, my, my grandfather used to say, with, with awesome cats, he used to say, look, 
don't stop, just look, because we had candles on the front and candles on the back, red lights at the back, and on the, he used to say, don't stop, just blow your candles out and keep going. Oh, we have our arguments, but that, <laughs> that's like any father and son. Do you know what I mean? It, he'll always say that he's always right, but at the end of the day, we'll just get on with it. Now, am I right in thinking you've only had about 17 weeks' worth of holiday oh, yeah, in the last yeah, yeah. 70 yeah, years? Yeah, my dad, my granddad didn't believe in them. Didn't believe in holidays. I asked him once for a, a week's holiday, yeah. and you might laugh. Do you know what he said to me? He Go said, on. you can take seven Sundays off. When we drove the horse and carts, if you wanted to get them to work early in the morning, my granddad used to give them a packet of cigs. So then, then it was their first. They yeah. got the ten wood bands, you know. So. Well, listen, what's, what, what's the secret then? Have you, Keep you away know. from women, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's your downfall. <laughs> but uh, I have enjoyed it. I, I, I love it when it's like this. I do, you know. But uh, the, the people is good. You know, I've had some good friends. And if I could work seven days a week down here, I would do. But as I say, as a person, Ray, you know, as a smashing fella, the name um, football stadiums after legends, I think we'll probably end up naming the fish market after the 